All right, so we're gonna do our experiment 9.1. Um, you don't have to have little kids to do this. Probably preferable not to, but they're gonna try to help me here. We like her. Yep, they're gonna try to help, and I think they'll be good helpers. Um, so we're talking about sound waves, right? So we roll right to sound waves 9.1, right? And this procedure is always um, really long compared to what's what you guys have to fill out in the book, right? So um, we'll start out, right? It's experiment 9.1, sound waves, um, right? We're investigating the medium which through which sound waves travel. So we learn from our slides there and from the book that sound waves, yeah. they have to have something to move through. They can't move through, um, if you're in space, they can't move through space, okay? They have to have something to move through, okay? And um, sound waves have energy, okay? So we'll see this with a candle here. So we need a candle, we need matches, and then we need a bottle. So you give the bottle to Mama real quick, cameras. We're gonna light the candle. Let me make sure there's, okay, you guys can see the candle there. And um, so, oh, I don't need the pot yet. Thank you. Can I sit right here? Yeah, you can come, come look right here. You can move, the, move that away. Come see right here. Okay, so we're gonna light it. Okay, and have somewhere where you can put your matches so they don't burn anything. And so that would be the, the things on the list, right? We need matches, a candle, um, some wide bottle with a narrow narrow opening here. All right, so if we hit the bottle, um, they say to use uh, saran wrap on the end and then hit it. But if you do that, then you possibly could get um, air movement. We don't want any air movement. We just want sound waves. So we're going to position it right above the candle. We're not going to put it out, okay? And then we're going to hit the top of the bottle to put it Put it out. So I'm gonna try, try my very best to get it in, in position here. Okay, go. So you can see it kind of flicker the first time, and then the second time it put the candle out. Okay, so we observe sound wave energy, right, traveling towards the candle and putting it out. So that would basically right what we observe. So we uh, see that in motion. Okay, so the second part of the procedure here, right, um, we're gonna use uh, salt here and. Um, so you, the other thing you do list is a pot, maybe a gallon or something size, uh, saran wrap on the top and real taut, as taut as you can get it with a rubber band over top. And then we have some salt. We're just put salt on the top here. So we're not going to put too much salt here, but we'll put, um, enough so we can kind of see what's going on here and we should be able to see, All right? So we'll spread it out here. So that may be in our procedure. We're going to spread it out over this, right? And you can actually see it's pretty taut. If I, you can see me push on here, right? But it models something like what your uh, eardrums would look like, okay? And just be careful that you uh, can clean it up afterwards. And then, um, instead of uh, putting out a flame or something, you can see the vibration that happens here. So can you give me the, the spoon? Okay. And then the pot here. So I'm going to, you might want to cover your ears. I'm not going to hit it very hard now, but I'm going to do it a little bit. Okay. So... All right, so it's not, not very loud yet, but it might turn the volume down a little bit. I'm gonna hit it a little bit harder. So you can see it uh, moving there. And if I move it a little bit closer in here. Yep, you, now uh, my son's gonna try it. So he's gonna, he's gonna try to move it a little bit closer here and he's gonna do it. So you can see the sound energy vibrating the salt on top of that, right? And I think that's pretty much it. And then you can just uh, wrap up your conclusions, right? What you observe in the two parts of the experiment for each one, right? Um, for the first one, you could observe that um, you could see that putting out the flame with the um, right with the <laughs> bottle here, right? And um, so that's the sound energy. And then the second one, you can see that it vibrates uh, top membrane like this, like it would our ears, right? So that's why we can hear with our ears because it vibrates back and forth. All right, and I think that wraps up the conclusion. Let me know if you have questions about how to wrap up anything in your experiment, but I think that does it for our lab today.